Hi everybody, I'm thrilled to be here tonight in Zurich. My name is Joel Blom, I'm a story advisor. I help people craft and tell purpose-driven stories that move people to take an action. In the next five minutes, I want to inspire you to tell your own stories in business and in life that move people to take the action that you want them to. You're probably wondering, how does a story get us to take an action that facts and figures alone would not? What's the secret? Good writers, storytellers, know something that most of us don't. They use a classic structure to tell stories, or write epic screenplays, or get standing ovations at the Moth main stage. I don't know if you've heard of the Moth. It's a, it's a rather popular live storytelling event. I've condensed this classic structure into an easy-to-remember acronym. I call it the S-T-O-R-Y framework. And it's a simple system that you can use to craft stories that move people, whether asking the boss for a promotion, pitching your idea to an investor, or maybe making a great impression with a special love interest. We all need to know how to tell stories that move people. Here's how it works. Think of your story as a circular cycle. At the top is the known world, where, where your protagonist, your hero, you if that's perhaps your love interest, begin. They need to leave the orderly known world and travel down into the unknown. Along the way, overcoming obstacles, eventually finding what they're looking for, and return, changed, to share the lesson learned. This story cycle mirrors life as we know it. It also offers a blueprint to craft stories, purposeful stories that move people to take action. Follow me around the circle. The subject is in a zone of comfort. <clears throat> Sorry, <laughs> you are in a zone of comfort, but you need something. You go into the unknown territory, seeking it. Find it, take it, and return back to where you came from. Change to share the lesson learned. You're thinking that structure probably works great for George Lucas or J.K. Rowling, but I just want to write an about story for my website. Trust me, every great story ever told follows the same story framework, and you can too. But seeing is believing, right? How about we try to compose a story that, the story that moves the listener to take the action the storyteller wants? Remember that love interest? How about we compose a story for a speed dating event? Sound, does that sound good? Okay. <laughs> subject. Oh, we've got to let the slide move here. The subject is, and in this instance, me. I'm a cool guy, 34 years old, successful, and single tonight. <laughs> Treasure. I spot her. And wow, what a great smile she's wearing. <laughs> and, I, and I walk up, or I, I sit down, and I say, hey, my name's Joel. I'm glad we're both here looking for the same thing because I never want to have to go on another speed dating event in my life. <laughs> Obstacles. There's 10 other guys in the room have her eye on, on this woman too. And you have only 60 seconds to convince her you're the one. She says, really? Why is that? You tell her, I've had to overcome many challenges in my life. University, six-figure job, bonus, house in <laughs> Harleyburg. <laughs> But I've, I'm 34 years old, and I've found material success is pretty empty without somebody to share it with. She says, <laughs> she says, you sound pretty desperate. I just want to have fun and a good time. But inwardly, she's thinking, <laughs> he's a fighter. Financial security and a guy who can share his feelings? Hmm. You say, you know, before I got here tonight, I was thinking the same as you. But let's be honest. Do you want to be speed dating when you're past 40? I don't. She looks him in the eye and says, no, not really, and slides her phone number across the table. All right, as this little story that I've just tried to, tried to <laughs> il <laughs> illustrate um, tells us in the subtext, the moral or the why of the story is in the subtext, that if you're truly honest with yourself and have the courage to be authentic, and overcome the obstacles, the rewards will follow. Ira Glass of NPR, 
uh, said, great stories happen to those who can tell them. And that's my real purpose for this talk tonight. I want us all to experience great stories and tell more of them because you are the story you tell. Thank you.